Hello everyone, it's Mrs. Kapilbianco again. This time we are going to be drawing a bed. So if we look in our one point perspective packet with the steps, it says drawing a bed in one point perspective. We're basically just going to follow this step by step, okay? So the first thing you need to know is we're going to be drawing this rectangle, uh, rectangle, okay? And this actually does not have anything to do with the vanishing point. So it's kind of like an exception to the rule, but all of these corners are what's going to actually be drawn to the vanishing point. So, in order to start this, we're going to be drawing these lines and creating a rectangle, okay? They still need to be straight lines. Um, we need to figure out where we're putting our bed. In my particular drawing, I'm actually going to put my bed over here, okay? Because I don't have enough room to put it on this side of the, uh, of the room. Okay, I'm just going to move my document camera up just a little bit. I have my ruler here. Okay, so this is a little bit crooked. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to be drawing the edge, like the kind of the back part, the backboard part of the bed, okay, but I'm only going to be doing it as a square to start right now. Uh, so I'm going to start and figure out my line. It needs to come up off the floor, like this is the floor, but this whole area is the floor here. So it needs to touch the floor, but it needs to come off the floor as well. So I'm going to draw a line about that big, okay? And now I need to turn my paper, and I need to figure out how far down I want this bed to be. So remember, when things are closer to you, they're a little bit bigger, and as they get further back, they look smaller. So I'm going to draw this about an inch on here. Okay. So in order for you to see my lines, again, I'm going to kind of go over this in Sharpie in just a moment, but I don't want to do that just yet, just in case I'm looking at it now and I'm like, maybe I should have made that a little longer. So I'm actually going to go back, okay, and I'm going to make this line a little bit longer here. Maybe another half inch. Okay, you might find that you have to do the same thing. Alright, no big deal. That actually looks a lot better. Okay, so now I'm going to finish drawing my rectangle. Okay, make sure your paper and your T-square is lined up. I want to draw it about the same height as this line here because I'm ultimately going to be connecting these two across. Alright, get used to turning your paper a lot because that's part of drawing in one point perspective. Okay. And if you go over, you can just go in and kind of erase your line a little bit if you went over the line. Okay, so I have my rectangle. All right, I'm going to go over this um, in Sharpie just to kind of outline it a little bit and show you. I'm not going to draw in any details for the bed yet. Oops. That's why we don't draw without a ruler. I'm getting a little sloppy here. Okay. So, now what we need to do is we need to draw lines from each of these corners to the vanishing point so we can figure out the actual body part of the bed. Okay, the top and the sides. So I'm going to start with this corner and then just work my way around to each corner of the bed. So here is the top part of my bed. Okay, here is the side of my bed. All right, and now I need to figure out how far back this bed goes. Okay. So now I'm going to line this up and figure it out. Okay. So if I put my line here, that's going to be a really tiny bed. Okay. I want this line to go back about that far. So I'm going to draw a line. Okay. Then I'm going to turn my paper. And if you see this line here, I'm going to line up my T square with that line. And then I'm going to draw a line going across. So this part is going to get a little bit tricky. I'm going to outline this in Sharpie so that you can see my lines a little bit clearer. 
Okay, at least the ones I want you to keep. Okay. These lines here that are in pencil, I'm actually going to go ahead and erase them now. When you're doing this, just be careful not to erase the back part of your wall, okay? I'm just erasing these lines here. Now, if you notice, I have a floor line going through my bed here, okay? This and this whole part here would get erased, okay? But again, because I was doing this in Sharpie so you could see, it is there, and unfortunately you can't erase it uh, if you do it in pen which is one good reason why you should not do this in pen to start. Um, but I'm gonna make this part of my design, okay? This way it doesn't look like it's an accident. So maybe I have a striped design going on my bed. Maybe, maybe I want it like that. I'm also going to put like a headboard. Okay, you can do a round headboard. You can have bed posts coming up. I'm gonna just shade this in for right now, just to show you where it is. So front headboard, okay. I can also do a back headboard. And I'm kind of freehanding this right now. All right, again, you don't have to necessarily draw a headboard like this you can you know do it your own way it's your room I'm just shading this in just to show you because with all the lines it might get confusing please wait to color your designs in because we are going to be going over these in colored pencil okay um, yeah so there you go we have a bed okay um, again if you want to look at other designs for beds you can put a pillow on here you could you know do a blanket going across the bed you could uh, make some bed posts. Basically, the design is up to you entirely. And that's it for now.